Hello everyone and welcome back to our Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm. We are continuing our game as Cyrus. It has been, you know, a little bit wild at the beginning, but for the most part pretty good. Alright. Uh, oh, my, my mouse sensitivity just went wild there for a second. So we are, we're doing well. We're doing well. If you're watching this on YouTube, you've already caught up hopefully. But we're doing it live on twitch.tv slash Van Bradley. So head over there, link in the description if you want to catch this all live. We also have Twitter and Discord in the description as well if you want to join the clan on either of those two platforms. And we, Perry, would like you to help free him. And to help free Perry, subscribing to the YouTube channel and joining the clan actually helps free Perry. And get, he's stuck on the door. And if you don't feel bad for Perry, are you even a, a human person? Anyway, let's, let's continue. Uh, we have we have successfully um, come back from this volcano eruption catastrophe, so that's fine. That's a lot going on. I don't really want to kill the barbs. I don't really care. It looks like no one has settled over here, though, so this is what I'm talking about. They're, like, escorting me into in their territorial waters. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Just a nice little island we can settle that no one has settled yet. Oh, I'm definitely going to head over there with a the settler. And a unit. Let's make a trade route. We have a cultural alliance here still with Shaka, so we'll just do that. No need to overthink it. Free Perry! You gotta free him! KMG, he's stuck on the he's stuck on the door. You gotta free Perry. I just found him in my room, and I was like, I can make something funny out of this. If people aren't gonna, if people don't want to like follow or subscribe or whatever for any other reason other than to free parry, that's hilarious to me. Um, all right, four great musician points per turn is actually helpful for us. Snagging a great musician or two, so we'll put that in. We're back with Buenos Aires, so we have amenities, so that's fine. Let's do... Yeah, this skirmisher's getting a lot done in terms of skirmishers. We need to race over here. This is the perfect spot for another city. It doesn't look like anyone else is there. There's no loyalty going around. And we have the Giant's Causeway. So the Giant's Causeway gives you bonuses for moving next to it. So as I do this... Oh, it's Coupe! Coupe's the last person. He can go culture. I hope he, I hope he isn't. No, he's losing his cities. He has 19 culture. This is fantastic. I want to settle here. Very badly. I want to get a city and put it right here. We also get silk for some amenities. This is great. How can we do this? Can we send a unit over? We're going to upgrade you. This crossbowman is making the journey over to here to take out some units and then we'll build a settler or buy a settler. This is perfect here because um, we get a little bit more tourism with conservation, so obviously that's in our interest as a culture victory. Yeah, KMG, since you've been gone, we've we've really cultured this up. We actually have a cultural alliance with these guys, and no one else in this game is going for culture at all. So this should just we should just be easy breezy cruising to a, a culture win. I mean, somehow Poland is leading, but that's fine. We're gonna catch up. We'll be fine. Um, I don't really want a water park, no. That's that's lame. So we have this amphitheater here. We can put a good district here. We just need a builder to chop this. We also build... I need to keep track of which cities we can build archaeologists in because we need to do that first. Archaeologists are top priority. I need to be able to build a settler... This is going to be a mission for this crossbowman to get over there, hey? Well, you're doing it. I mean, we'll, we'll get the city by turn 200, which is not ideal. We're going to buy this amphitheater, but otherwise I'm going to get a trader here, actually. Make use of that trade route. Oh, I can send this great general over here instead and bring the barbs to my control. I'll still send the crossbowman anyway. 
But that'll be easier. What is he losing that city to? Is someone attacking him? Poland, maybe? The lowest is to attack a city. Huh. I don't actually know. We'll recruit a great writer. And um, we'll actually put it in Sousa to start. I, I want to try and make sure not to use my great like slots that can be used for anything for great works of writing. Because you just get so many great writers and you can just build more amphitheaters in new cities. Great Admiral? Do we really want that? Grants one promotion? I don't really want that. If the one comes up that gives you a free ironclad, that's what I want. That's a good one. In Gordian, hey? Got the harbor, got the theater square. Good, good. Can you build an archaeologist? It's hard to keep track. No, but we can build more traders. Yeah, you got other stuff to build though, don't you? Yep, yeah, you need to build an archaeological museum. Alright, interesting. So as long as Coupe doesn't come and settle here, we can definitely get a city down here, which I want really bad. She was so beautiful. Really, really bad. Yo, they're gearing up. Are they going to war me? I doubt it because we're... You will be so good and Can you even war your allies? No. Yeah, we're an ally. So they can't... They can't... Uh, they can't war us, which is good. Freaking poop my pants there for a second. Can we build that settler? Oh yeah, we can build it real quick, can't we? 11 turns. That's probably not ideal, but it's fine. Great artist now, that's what I'm talking about. Now after this great artist, we should be able to start making better use of our great works of art and theming them. That'd be real nice. I mean, I'd love to win this by turn 300. I have a higher tourism and higher culture, so I, I'm confused, but I suppose we haven't really met everyone yet either. We need to send trade routes to everyone. That really helps too, if you send trade routes to all the different civs. Right? I mean, that's actually a pretty big deal when it comes to, to tourism. I want that archaeologist. So we'll focus these traders that we're getting on making sure they go to cities or civs that we haven't sent one to yet. Like this one going to a guy is perfect. Tactics mean doing what you can. We really just haven't met a lot of people. Can we get open borders with some of these people? Can we do open borders with you? No, no, I want your open borders. Oh, we can't. Can I? Okay, we have an embassy now. Now can we do it? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Damn. Okay, well, I can't build open borders with her. What about you? Oh, you won't want them. Damn. Damn. Yeah, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying my best to get open borders here. <laughs> it's not working as well as I'd hope. That's not really a good deal. Oh no. I'd love to just get out of here. That's fine. We will survive. Hey, we met Candy. Not helpful for us, but... We need to keep Sus of Buenos Aires really badly. Are you sure we can't open borders? Ooh, they have a they have a relic, that's why. Why well, can't I, I wanna know why we can't? I mean we can do alliances with these guys, I don't actually mind. Friendship? Sure. Alliances? Let's do like a religious alliance. I don't really care. 12 gold? Sure. 
What about you, Jad Viga? Cool. Economic Alliance? 12 gold? Sure. I just want open borders. Oh, right -o. I think it I think it accomplishes the same thing. I want to explore for trade routes anyway. I didn't actually know that though, so that's really helpful. This spy, we're gonna level him up. Yeah, cheers for that. I didn't know that. Uh, KMG in the chat was just letting us know that if you give them open borders, that their tourists can come to you easier. Recruit partisan is fun. Escaping is fun. Neutralizing governor is an easy one to kind of go on the offensive with. Mm, okay, we're about to max out our trade routes, which is lovely. I love our, or our districting here. Well done. I think a commercial hub on these bananas is next. Plus three. Ooh, maybe not. We can get an industrial zone. It doesn't really help any of the other cities though, eh? The fact like they're just a bit far apart. All right, if I build an industrial zone, even this plus three one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, it gets a lot of cities. That might be worth it. Yeah, that's worth it. I don't have a builder to go and clear that right now. I don't want to build one this second, so that's fine. And with an art museum down here. Yeah, I need to bait this great general on the edge of the encampment to clear it. Awesome. Another great work of art. So after this, in 10 turns, we'll be able to... Um, What's it called? Yeah, I'll give you the niter. That's fine. We'll be able to theme them, which is important. Water and air, the two essentials on which life depends, have become global garbage cans. And create a natural park. Do we have any good natural park spots? Oh, definitely a few, I think. Or national. Ooh, not quite. That would have been a good one. Yeah, you can't have any buildings on them. Well, with the we don't have enough faith to buy a naturalist anyway, so I won't even worry about it for right now. Urbanization is nice. Is it really necessary though? Yeah, probably. We'll go for urbanization. Instantly creates a bombard. Love to see that. I'm, I'm indexing into Buenos Aires so hard right now, but they're the reason our amenities are working out. They're going to go and neutralize a governor somewhere. Yeah, Alex is mad at us. Go to, like, a guy. Sure. This great general can create a bombard. Over here. Can our skirmisher get some intel about... There we go. We're gonna take these out. I thought... Oh yeah, that's fine. Awesome. So we'll take those out. This trader, we want to send them to a different sieve if we can. We don't have a we don't have one going to Nubia though. It's because we can't see any Nubian cities, right? Can we establish an embassy here, Nubia. Cheers. We trade with you now. I don't know if that'll reach. No. Well, that's lame. I don't think we'll reach Jadwiga by sea yet either. 
So we'd have to go from here all the way up. In that case, go for gold, man. Go for gold, Buenos Aires? Sure. Oh, it's because you're going from Gordian. Whoops, that was dumb. Okay, if you if you go from Sparta, you might be able to reach Moreau. I just don't think we can see in the middle, and that's the problem. Alright, let's get like a we buy a skirmisher. Let's get a skirmisher to go into all these open borders places and start start skirmishing. Start going around. Seeing what's up. Can we not even we can't even afford one. Well, that's good. This immortal shall make the sacrifice. What do you have going on here? Amphitheater. I'm gonna build walls here, actually. I always get skeptical of the, the barb boats coming. Once they get privateers, they get really annoying. They come in, they coastal raid all your stuff. Yeah, we can't reach Moreau because we can't see it. That's so lame. Well, we have a culture alliance here, so it's not the worst to go for a Lundy. Um, you're gonna go for an art museum? Yeah, we're getting our archaeologists, all right. Puelma Pu is taking a beating. We just need to sneak in there, really. Great writer and great musician. Awesome. So you can create a bombard unit. Before we do that, you can actually go and scout around here too. We don't really need the bombard that bad. I'm going to save this trader and see if we can get one to Moreau. I don't think we have any great works of music yet. Nope. That's all right. You can just sleep. Just a struggling musician not having a place to perform. Cahokia? That's a good one to have a Sousa if you need gold. The Cahokia mounds are good. Um, I'm still saving this one until to see if we can see Moreau, if that'll help with the trade route. I'm assuming it will. All right, we're, we're, we're cruising through, we're learning stuff. This settler in his little vroom vroom car is gonna come all the way over here. Bolshoi is so good, so, so good, but a bit of a build right now. There's a lot of stuff here we can work and clear. So we're going to go for a builder right away. I just need to sneak up enough to, to snag that spearman. Hey Shurkin, I'm doing very well, how are you? I hope you're well as well. Uh, I'm still saving it, I'm hoping to get to, to Moreau. Oh, swear not by the moon. Romeo and Juliet, we like that. If you guys have not seen the Romeo and Juliet one with Leonardo DiCaprio, where it's like real mafia style, like 1990s New York and stuff, it's wild. It is one of the most wild experiences available. Ooh. I don't want them to send this guy back. But I don't want them to kill this caravel either. Damn. I think we might have messed this up a little bit, but either way, the crossbowmen can come up and clear this, so that's fine. Take another great artist. Never said no to a great artist in a culture win. Or in any win. Yeah, nowhere to put you yet. That's fine. We're getting there. 
Did we put an art museum here? Yes, we did. Yeah, cheers, man. You have a good night as well. Appreciate the appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, thank you. This trader, are we still holding out hope? Oh, you can make it now. Yay. So that was worth waiting for to help with the tourism there. To be or not to be. Um, I don't need that iron, so that's fine. Is it gonna die? Nope. Human nature. Awesome. And I'm not really gonna get a better chance to use this, so. Perfect. Uh, a new governor, we wanna promote Pingala into tourism from all of the, the good stuff in the city. Then we'll have to decide which city to put it in. I'm gonna take Suzerain of Palenque. Ooh, interesting. We're just roaming about the world. Oh man, the Haboob dust storm. I'm normally not so upset by something with the word boob in it. Oh, it's all it's all palenque. Never mind. I don't really mind. Yeah, we, we can build a, a quadrium fleet. Sure. Um, you're gonna gain sources and then neutralize the governor. There is little man has made that approaches anything. Sweet, we can go to frigates now, which is really nice. Um, we'll be able to upgrade that quadrium into a frigate fleet, which is actually quite powerful. Can't complain about a frigate fleet. I always forget my plan for this city every time I come and look at it. Every single time, I'm like, what am I trying to do here? We have a harbor and a theater square. There's some good campuses here, so we'll put a campus down. This plus four one feels nice. Although we should actually think about some holy sites if we're gonna buy naturalists and stuff. Hey, you just chill. We need all these guys to just protect this area until our settler makes it. Straight roads, but the crooked roads without. I wish we could just like teleport settlers over, just fling them like with a catapult just across the ocean. I think that'd be a fun mechanic if there was a way to, an earlier way to just fling, fling people places. All right, so we want Sparta to keep growing. Obviously, it's doing well. It's getting, it's getting her done. Is there any wonders we really want? I want Bolshoi pretty badly. Let's clear the marsh and put Bolshoi down. I'm gonna grab another builder while we do that. All right, our next pick. Um, the Aang might be good for the builder charges. Right, Amani is not very useful for us, so even if we just put just put her anywhere for now, but it's good to move her into a place where we might build some builders. Sweet, so our, our, our thing got kicked back by barbs, but we can just make a bombard unit now. It accomplished its mission, which was to free up one of these cities so we could trade to them. Yeah, this bombard can kind of go on the front lines here. Yo, Coupe got screwed, eh? Coupe got absolutely dinged. Look at that. That's really unfortunate. Another great rider. Yeah. Thus it is necessary to know. Are we winning in culture now, game? Yeah, we are. Look at that.
Is there any way to trade with Jad Viga yet? Probably not. I think that's still a bit long. Coupe, though, will obviously be easy to trade with when we have a city here, so that's fine. Yeah, all of these guys can just be alert. Yeah, Coupe was getting mangled by someone, probably Nubia. So we're going to clear that marsh and put the Bolshoi down. It is necessary for the Coupe has the worst setup, man. Look at all that desert into all that tundra. Mm-mm. That feels terrible. That feels absolutely awful. I might actually take those pearls for that. Iron, because we don't have any pearls yet. It helps us with amenities. We wanna we wanna make sure we're we're sticking with that. We also need to get this alliance back going because he has he has a lot of um, units. He has a lot of units and I don't want to get surprise ward on. Yeah, I mean, as long as spies are available, good pick. Whoops. There's just so much we can do here. We can clear this. We can put a Paradisa down. Yeah, we'll, we'll clear this and put a Paradisa down. That'll be our decision. We have 1500 gold. We should keep that in mind. We could buy... Next time we build a... A district, we can buy something for that district. We can buy an archaeologist, maybe? That might be helpful. This music's also getting loud. I don't know if you guys can hear the increase in volume. Probably. But that got loud real quick. Let's do walls. Walls, walls, walls. Just quick in case of uh, ships. Nah, maybe not worth it. Industrial zone. Commercial hub? Yeah, commercial is probably more worth it. That wouldn't be a bad industrial zone. Wouldn't be great though. Um, I think maybe a holy site if I'm being honest. Just a, a quick easy plus two holy site. I think we should buy a naturalist. So we're gonna chop this out. After we start with Bolshoi. That's our next uh, passion project. Shipyard gives us food. Production, uh, that's not a great adjacency. Already have the feeder square though. I'd say go for medieval walls actually. Walls do help with tourism, believe it or not. This city needs help with food. Bad. Builder. Ooh, Cyrus or Barbarians? We'll go with Cyrus. A stone tablet! Guys, we have a stone tablet. The coolest of all things. Yeah, Moreau, I'm helping you out. If you could repay the favor sometime, I would appreciate it. What did we want to do here? Um, actually, if you come up here, I don't have to build this builder, which would be better for me. Instead, I could build some walls. Yeah, walls do give a little bit of tourism. I normally don't get the chance to build all of them, though, if I'm being honest. There's so many artifacts around. We'll go barbarians for that one. A mummy? While we're thinking about it, let's go and see if we can um, theme any of our paintings. No, definitely not. Certainly not. 
Yeah. Nope. That is unfortunate, but not surprising. I'm surprised Coupe survived this. If I'm being perfectly honest. Sources gained. All right, my guy. You, with your fancy new sources, are going to tear down the governor. Can we trade? How long is it going to be for this settler? Who's still a, still a wee bit, hey? That's fine. It's not urgent. I do want to trade with Jadwiga if it's possible, though. The earlier, the better. I think that's probably still too far. Well, we'll wait on it. That's fine. Anywhere to put a great work of art? Nope. That's fine for now. Sleep, sweet prince. I do want to start taking other people's artifacts, but I'll take my own to start. It's easier to... to... Yeah, re Renaissance walls are worth three tourism each. It's just the, the opportunity cost of building them. Right, like if you're if you're building those, could you just be building more settlers and more theater squares in those districts, in those cities? Right, like there's you just have to like in your game, can you spend ten turns per city for walls? But yeah, we're gonna get rid of that governor. It's the industrial revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. All right, are we still happy with our policies? I like the housing one. Uh, I don't need the great musician one. We don't even have a spot for our one great musician. We're the suzerain of two city-states now, so that'd be plus four culture. That's not really that great. I think plus four gold and plus one faith per trade route feels pretty good right now. We need the faith. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We have a lot of trade routes. Sydney Opera House is great. We'll head towards that. We have a we have a city to build it into, which is awesome. Sousa, hey? You have so many good options. I think that commercial hub there feels really good. The plus four. Yeah, I think the plus four commercial hub there is great. The Garden of Earthly Delights. Sweet. We'll just heal up. Um, Cyrus? Ooh. We can't possibly theme those yet. But we can try it. You, you, you need like three archaeologists to go up before you have enough for a theme, I think. Usually. Not always, but usually. Yeah, Jalal, you're just continuing to counter-spy, my man. Barbarian's a javelin? Cool. Are oh, getting more landscape paintings is nice. Oh yeah, we're we're creeping into that culture win. We're creeping up there. One hundred percent of the city states yield when sending trade routes. I don't really care about that. So we're gonna lose a trade route now because we had plus one from the last government. So it's just gonna say six out of five. Yeah. Nine out of sixty-seven. All right. All right. I mean, this city needs a little bit of everything. Is that builder coming? Yes, good. The city just needs help. Grab a monument for three turns, that's fine. I 
Awesome, a mask created by Cyrus. So now we can try and start theming some of our... No, they need to be from full... All right, eight turns left. They need to be from full museums before you can move them around. So I need one more. Another great writer. I mean, no one else is even close. I mean, we'll take it. I'll go for the shrine. You can come there and sleep. Library still feels good. Do we need an archaeologist here? Nope. Don't really need a builder that badly. Although, we're starting to get there. Let's do a builder quick. And then the library. We can actually also just buy the library. So there we go. I want to save some of my gold to buy an archaeologist with, actually. Perfect. Is there a place I can still buy an archaeologist? Surely there is. If I have three archaeological museums... And only two archaeologists out. Archaeological Museum, Archaeological Museum. Shakir Equimus. Where, oh, there it is. There we go. Perfect. Hey, the settler has arrived. Where do we want to settle here? Ooh, we're, we're losing a little bit of loyalty. I want to settle where I can get that silk. One, two, three. Yeah, that's too much loyalty lost. Maybe this rice is fine. We'll settle on that rice. Yeah, this skirmisher can skedaddle. Um, yeah, let's go get these neutral ones before they get taken up by that city there. If you if you take their artifacts, they get really mad at you, and I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I think you still need help. A campus can go right here, but we just need to clear that. That's a decent campus. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you just need another builder, though. Oh, builder it is. Is it food or housing that they're struggling with? It must be both. Must be both. All right, we're seeing quite a bit of the world now. We're going to be able to get trade routes with the other civs, which is great. I'm, I wish we found another spot to settle. I do wish we had one more city. But alas, we were not so lucky. Tishpa, I want to start getting walls in Tishpa. A neighborhood also probably feels pretty good. There's so many tiles to still work, though, before we need that. Yeah, walls are fine, then. Cool. Palicanarsis. So that loyalty should change now that we have a, a unit fortified in it. We get five loyalty for each city with a fortified unit. And we'll just buy a monument here. Get that little bit of loyalty too. And build a granary. Yep. And will that change? Plus three error score, awesome. Whoa, it didn't change. What is causing you so many loyalty problems?
Oh, just pressure from nearby citizens. Well, in that case, we should get you a... Uh, we'll, we'll send uh, Liang over there. Yeah, let's get Liang over there. Once we get a few population in that city, it'll be fine. Yep, that market for that trade route. Awesome. Oh, we definitely want a commercial hub right here. Again, another market would feel really good. Oh, they moved the... Oh, no, we did get rid of the governor. Yeah, let's do polygraph and bring this guy back. So enemy spies don't operate as high in our lands. There's so many little projects for this guy to go on, hey? These builders. Um, we wanted to build a campus there. We'll do Shaka. We don't have a Shaka artifact yet. Ancient artifact. Interesting. Oh, so these guys are fighting each other. Odd. I suppose it's fine, though. There's no way any of those cities are going down this late in the game. Violent economics are urbanization, industrialization, cool. central. Now we need to see if we have any coal on our map. Uh, nope. Nope. Correct! Cool. Ooh, I don't really want coal that badly. I won't get rid of the uh, Paradisa. The next thing I probably want... Um... Yeah, banking. I have a lot of um, commercial hubs. So that's probably worth it. Ugh. You know what? We'll do Renaissance Walls. We'll do... You know what? Why not? We'll give it a try. It's tourism. Uh, you're going to come back and you're going to counter spy in Sparta, which is perfect. So in Sparta, you can counter spy there. Yeah, I guess these guys can just come home soon. They're just toiling about. There's so many little projects in this city for these builders. I actually gonna bring this builder down to get the um, fish over here. You can harvest and then put a farm down. Fantastic. We've got coal, perfect. Awesome, so we entered the industrial area at a golden age, so that's the perfect time, I think, for us to end this video. I also think that'll probably be it for me tonight in terms of Civ. Um, I want to be able to upload this portion of the game and then come back tomorrow and finish this game up. I think that's a, a fair way to do it so the YouTube people have a chance to jump in if they want. So thank you guys so much. Uh, let's end this YouTube video first. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video and you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to like and subscribe. That way you never miss a video. And also more people find these videos so more people can join the clan and we can all hang out together. We also have Twitter and Discord. If you type exclamation point Discord into the Twitch chat, it'll come up there. That's a new thing. All those links are also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I see, I'll see you in the next one.